G'day folks, Petty here from AMI Marine in Australia. I wanted to do a short video today on Ziplake's new adapter plates. These adapter plates were designed to um, adapt Ziplake Series S to the transom that already has the holes drilled for another similar sized interceptor system. So this is the uh, Series S 300mm interceptor that this adapter plate's designed to go on to. Uh, the, the eight slotted holes here, they are the same hole pattern as um, the, other, the other interceptor system that's been removed. They're slotted so that you can adjust the height of the plate on the transom as required. You've got a knockout plug here if you wanted to do the optional concealed cable install with the zip weight. On the back, you've got a large O-ring that will seal around the original cable entry hole for the previous interceptor system. The plates, you know, I'm really impressed with them. They have a stainless steel metal insert, looks to be about five or six millimeters thick, and there's no way you're gonna bend one of these. So what you get in the kit box is you get two of the 300 mil adapter plates, or if they're also available in 450 millimeter wide as well. Some screws which we can get into later, and a nice little installation guide. Okay, so tomorrow we've got an installation happening of the adapter plates and the Zipweight 300S kit on about a six metre aluminium boat. So what we'll be doing tomorrow is getting our adapter plate. We'll be taking the front plate off the intercept the back plate. We get the back plate. I put it on the adapter plate, just put a couple of screws in, do them up so that the back plate is fixed to the adapter plate. We'll take this over to the transom, we'll put two straight edges under the, uh, under the hull coming out past the transom. We'll rest the adapter plate and the back plate on those straight edges. And then what we'll find tomorrow is because the boat's an outboard powered boat, the transom will be angled back a little bit which will make the whole assembly do this and we'll have to bring the uh, back plate up a little bit. We'll then draw a line across the top edge of the interceptor back, uh, sorry, the adapter plate, both sides. And then we can then proceed with the rest of the installation. So what we're gonna to see tomorrow is eight holes, eight holes from the old interceptor system and we're gonna see an approximate 32 mil hole from where the old cable and plug came through for the old system. This O-ring here will seal against the transom to keep the water out of that, that hole. But what we'll probably also do, just as a bit of insurance, we'll fill that, fill that with some sort of sealant. Then we just flip it over, we line the adapter plate up with that line that we drew on the transom already. Insert, do up the eight screws to fix the adapter plate to the transom. Then we get our back plate again, fit the six screws to screw it to there, and then we'll be putting the front plate on, and then moving over to the other side and doing the same, same again. Replacing a pair of these with a pair of these by using a pair of these adapter plates.
Ez így van.